When we lose grouse in a landscape, it's a major uphill battle. One of the tools that we have available to us is to actually trap and transplant wild birds from one place to another. And the state of Washington, because their populations have been uh, so diminished over time that they've been in this trap and translocate operation, these conservation actions, for a number of years now. And because the birds have been doing so well in Oregon, and our genetics are very similar to what's in Washington, we have been chosen as one of the source populations. This species absolutely requires sagebrush, and they require large landscapes of it because they need options. Greater sage grouse populations in Oregon today represent really some of the last strongholds for the species. Unlike the rest of the West, where we've seen about a 50% reduction in habitat, we've only seen about a 30% reduction in Oregon. We largely have vast, intact landscapes of sagebrush. Washington, historically, was a major part of the sage-grouse range. We had a lot of habitat here. What, because of so many areas converted for wheat, we no longer have the birds. Doing a translocation quite, quite often requires very difficult conditions because like, it is dark, it is rocky, uh, a lot of times you don't know the terrain very well. Once you find a bird and you're able to approach it with the spotlight, once you get really close, we can uh, quickly put a net out and over the bird. And one, six, eight. One, six, eight. Remind me to make sure handkerchief should be required field gear. <laughs> After processing birds, you usually have somebody who will drive the birds back to Washington. It's usually about a 10 to 12 hour drive. And then the birds will keep them overnight and release them in the morning. We look in Washington and we can see the challenges. It's obvious because of the transmission lines, the highways, the people, everything is, is there. 2008 through 2015, we translocated 279 birds. So far, the results have been fairly positive. Population's higher this year than it was last year. That makes people very happy. It's nice to have birds back on that landscape again. <laughs>